Hello, viewers, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. So, last mission, last episode, we had a... had a downed UFO, a abductor class, which had 11 enemies on board, and we killed them with impunity, basically. We uh, completely wrecked that place, didn't take any damage, really. Uh, and then I did a bunch of stuff to do with getting ready for this next episode. And I, in fact, recorded this episode once already, and the game decided to crash on the last thing, and I couldn't reload. My latest save is actually after the end of last episode, or before last episode. So, I have to uh, have to catch you guys up on a few little things that have happened. Uh, I will probably see if I can find and patch in the screen, the uh, the movies that uh, would have played the uh, yeah not the movies that would have played the um, the cutscenes that would have played when I did certain things. But let's go to uh, research. So uh, let's access our research things that we have done recently. We had the mutant elite autopsy, which I think we saw. The big one, however, is the ghost armor. This is what we researched and was almost ready to almost completed. But uh, yes, <laughs> unfortunately, now you don't get to see this being uh, revealed in time, which kind of sucks. But oh well. Uh, basically, this is a very fast medium armor with um, the ability to cloak, and it's very useful and kind of cool. And we will hopefully be using that later. That was the only other research that got done. I've currently just switched it to the plasma pistol just as something to do. Uh, head over to engineering. Actually, actually, let's take a look at the barracks and view our soldiers. Durand is now a major. Oh, I can actually. I do have the chance to choose. Uh, she's not. She she's a major still, but she has her last psionic ability to choose because we took her into the Gollop chamber. She was our volunteer. She went in here. She used the ethereal device. This button I cannot, I can no longer press. Um, in theory, I will patch in the video that you would have seen. It will probably have a character who isn't Durand um, walking down in her armor and stuff. But it will tell you what happened when uh, when I activated that device. This is it. Once our volunteer enters the chamber, there is no turning back. This is what we've been working towards this whole time. We likely will not be able to make any developments beyond this point. With each of our major victories, we have encountered incrementally more powerful aliens. After the first alien craft was shot down, they began a campaign of terror. The alien forces were led by a sectoid commander, a powerful psionic creature. Upon capturing the hyperwave beacon, we detected a cloaked ship carrying a being of incredible psionic power. Having captured the device it sacrificed itself to protect, an immense alien ship has now appeared within our atmosphere. We can only assume that a being of even greater psionic power is on board this vessel. We have already pushed human evolution so far, and I fear where the next step will take us. But our enemy leaves us with no other choice. A new type of weapon is required. At long last, you have succeeded where we have failed. Okay, well, with that out of the way, um, let's have a look at some of the other things that happened. Uh, I can't. I'm not sure if I can actually find the report from last uh, 
from la the last report. I don't think I can bring it back up again. But suffice it to say, with everything in the blue, a lot of missions completed, no injuries, no deaths, lots of everything shot down. It was an A. We did relatively well, and I was quite happy with that. So the last thing to do in this entire game, pretty much, is push this button here. There's no point getting more research. There's no point getting more... Do it, try to do more missions and grind people up. There's no point building anything else. Let's push, it, let's, uh, push this button and assault the temple ship. Okay, so we have a few things we need to do left. We've got to promote Durand. Uh, just her abilities. And then I came to the conclusion last time that I wanted to take the mind control because it was kind of cool. It's the classic mind... It's the classic... Uh, Telekinesis, not telekinesis. Um, yeah, it's a classic psionic ability, and it's been all in all the games, and it's you know pretty good. So let's take that. Uh, let's take a look at her loadout. She handy has a frag grenade, and that's not great. Um, no, frag grenades are useful. Let's keep her with the frag grenade. Everyone else either has mind shields or scopes or everything like that. I think everyone is actually pretty much ready. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a change. She's Desperado. I knew there was something I hadn't mentioned. I put Desperado in some ghost armor. This armor has an armor value of 6. Uh, compared to the Titan armor of 10. So it's a significant chunk down. Fortunately, it gives him a lot more mobility. It gives him a lot more uh, the ability to, to really get behind people. And with this shotgun, that's that's incredibly useful. He can also get around. He can get around people's things like uh, Overwatch and basically, if he's somewhere and there's enemies right in front of him, he can pop his stealth. I mean, he doesn't get around of being shot at. Anyway, let's launch this mission, the final mission. Hopefully, this will go not too badly. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We'll see. I may have to go and find out how to get that uh, video back of the Gollop Chamber, but oh well. Let's begin. Assault. We could just return to base now. Let's let's just no. Let's let's forget this. Let's just go home. No, nope. begin assault. This is the final mission, guys. Final mission. Four sentry to Temple Ship's bridge, and the volunteer must survive. Durand is the volunteer for reference. She volunteered, or was voluntold, to put her to uh, use her psychic powers with the Gollop device and find out what the Ethereals wanted. Let's launch this mission. Landing into the temple ship. Thud. Thud. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh, says Durand. <gasps> Yeah, inside your head. Okay, you're done? Right, he's done. <laughs> Let's move on forward. Um, there's a doorway here, which I don't really want to open until kind of I'm ready to. Oop, no, you can't overwatch. Hunker down. Scanning. Unfortunately, there's not much uh, value for Spectre's backpack in this. So he's gotten that really late, and he might actually be better with Titan Armor, just because he's not going to use that mobility. Uh, it doesn't have a grapple, actually. Does it have a grapple? No, it didn't have a grapple. So that was kind of pointless putting him in that, but, uh, oh well. Let's head on through this door. No sign of any aliens immediately. Uh, let's move Desperado up inside. No line of sight. We'll move Pixie up next to him. <gasps> okay, set to a commander. He's gonna run away. <laughs> 
Ariana, move on in. We'll uh, we'll overwatch this turn probably. We've got lots of mind shields, which are useful for protecting against Sectoid commanders and such such craziness. I'm going. Durand is also pretty resilient because she has super mind powers. <laughs> Spectre, move on up. I want Spectre to be right at the front because I think we're going to be sat here for a while. And it's kind of useful. Okay, so we have two enemies. Let's try and take one out with uh, Lombard. 93% chance to hit, doesn't stand damage. Boom! He'd be kind of useful, useless in Overwatch anyway. Uh, cowboy back here, he can just go into Overwatch for now. Oriana can see this guy over here, but there's not much point for him. Not much, not much to do. Not, not, not much for him to do. Uh, we could swap over. Oh, we can't. Never mind. I was going to say, we could swap over to the, uh... Oh, he dashed anyway. Never mind. Never mind. Don't, just ignore me. Let's put Pixie in Overwatch. Let's put Ariana in Overwatch. And let's put Durand in Overwatch 2. My fear is that that Sector Commander is going to appear and try and mind control. But I think this guy is going to shoot at Ariana and miss, but I'm going to get a reactive shot. So that's the sector pod, sectoids even. We have two cyber discs and what appears to be two drones. We still have that sectoid commander around somewhere. Uh, we also have Spectre who's now wide out in the open because that plasma pistol did a significant amount of damage. Okay, let's move Pixie down. Ooh, hello. Right. Hmm. Well, that's the cyber discs. Okay, let's move forward. Let's get Mir further forward. Uh, we have a significant amount of stuff up there. Along with Desperado. I don't like the fact that uh, oh, we've uncovered the other two as well now. Right, okay, thank you. One of the problems here is we don't have a great line of sight onto them. We don't really have much cover left. We can move around up forwards to here. No line of sight though. And I guess we can... Uh, there's nowhere to put... There's very little places to put... Uh, Jack Ryan, where he's gonna be defensive. I guess he's gonna go into Overwatch. Uh, Spectre's gonna have a field day. Let's try taking out these drones first. 100% chance to hit. Does up to 10 damage. Boom! Drone gone. In the zone. I don't know how many times in the zone will tick. Um, let's try getting with this other drone. in the zone. Uh, that means it will tick at least twice. Let's go to this other drone. <laughs> this is this is the wonder of in the zone. That's three down and he still has two more shots. He still has more shots to take. Let's take Ariana, 95% chance, 94% chance to hit. Let's go on that cyber disc. Boom! 13 damage, leaving it on eight. Spectre could do... Oh, I have to 10 damage. Let's try and take out this cyber disc in one shot. 10 damage. Boom. And he still has in the zone. Desperado, 31% chance to hit, does up to 10 damage. Isn't going to be relevant. Uh, we could run and gun him down to here. And yeah, let's run and gun him. Partly to get him out of the line of sight of that uh, sectopod, not sectopod, uh, cyber disc. And we can rapid fire, 100% chance to hit, does up to some damage. That's 10 damage, yeah, we want to rapid fire. Boom, 8 damage. 
Boom. 17 damage with a critical hit. Uh, we don't actually have line of sight on that other side of this now, so let's go into Overwatch. Uh, we'll move. We'll keep Durand where she is, put her Overwatch. Same with Pixie. So that cyber disc over there is going to move. Durand. Uh, Spectre's going to get a shot off on it. Boom! Eight damage. Not great, but also not terrible. Uh, my worry is that he's going to get hammered by this thing now. But we're going to get some more of what shots. Pixie's going to take one to do seven damage, leaving it on five. Durand, in theory, if it moves far enough, should get a shot, but I'm not sure she'll do any damage. No, she misses. I'm doing the best I can. Uh oh. Two more reaction shots. One from Pixie, I believe, and one from uh Um, who was that? It was Cowboy, right. Well <laughs> Go team go. We even have a uh, a a sector pod, sectoid, whatever they call them, down there, which we're gonna kill. With Spectre being awesome. Enemies in sight. And he has line of sight again. He's just racking up the guild. <laughs> Ten damage. He's going to need to reload next. Uh, in fact, he needs to reload now. But we don't have any uh, ability to reload. Anyway, let's move up. I want to go up the central area. Take the high ground. Uh, no line of sight immediately on anything. Pixie. I want you to follow up Ariana and Desperado unfortunately is going to have to run but there's nothing in range so that's fine Cowboy again with the running I think we're pretty much clear at the moment those cyber discs we took out were a pain but I don't think we'll get anything else we got a few people on Overwatch just in case Pixie, Durand, Oriana. Uh, we don't have. Yeah, we don't have Spectre because he needed to. Well, he needed. He uh, that last shot wasn't in the zone. Well, oh, I didn't mean to dash him. Oh well. He's gonna dash. He can reload next turn, but uh, we need to move everyone up anyway, so that's not much of a problem. Oriana, be a tank. Yep, Oriana is being a tank up there. I'd make a League of Legends joke, but I won't. <laughs> um, yeah, for those who don't know, Ariana is a character in League of Legends. I may have mentioned this before. Uh, she is a robot girl, and it's quite appropriate that the uh, that for a female mech suit. Okay, moving out. And it amused me when I first saw it. Okay, anyway, moving forward. Um, Sprinting a couple of people, keeping. I'm trying to keep Durand not at the back, but uh, in in a defensive position, just in case. She, we need to keep her alive. She is like the primary primary character in this mission. Normally it's Pixie, but unfortunately cannot do that this turn, this game. Let's reload, reload Spectre. Okay, we lose him for this turn, but that's fine. I doubt there's going to be anything immediately. Um, we can move forward a touch. I'm on Let's move forward way. into this room. That gives us a bit of space to on the move. get everyone in. Moving Pixie in. Followed by Desperado, who... This, this extra move, you can see how far he can move compared to uh, Jack Ryan, who is really, has really small movement because of that heavy armour, even though he's an assault. So giving assaults ghost armor it seems like a reasonable idea to me, especially if they have a shotgun, because they're just going to get behind things and wreck them. I'm just going to overwatch. More overwatch. Wait, uh, yeah, but the 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 uh, upside of giving the upside of giving all that armor to to one character is that they are a beast. I mean, if you look at the health difference between. Uh, Desperado and Cowboy. Uh, it's like another five health on top of what of what he has. Anywho, let's move forward. 
Let's try and trigger the next. Oh, here we go. Let's try and trigger the next series of spawns. Um, there they are. Floaters. Uh, two normal floaters. Three. Three normal floaters and a heavy floater. At least. Where's Durant? I want to try something. I've got Durant here who has her psychic powers, which we've yet to use. But I'd like to. Uh, there's two. We can we can probably grenade them actually. Let's move uh, Pixie forward. She's going to be flanked for now, but that's fine because we're gonna do something about that in a second. Desperado, move up. Um, what I want to do is get Oriana, not get Oriana, yeah, get Duran okay, in a position to overlook these enemies. We have one hostile visible. Spectre will need to move because he's useless where he is. And Jack Ryan is also kind of useless where he is. He can move closer, he can be an Overwatch monkey. Spectre for now. Ooh, he does have a line of sight, excellent. Okay, let's try and mind control this heavy footer. 100%. Okay, let's do this. 100% taking control. <laughs> okay, so we've mind controlled that. I think he's used his movement for this turn anyway, so we can't do anything about that. What we can do, launch a grenade, does up to 4 damage. Kaboom! Boom! Kind of getting rid of all the all the cover that we may have used, but oh well. And Pixie has one line of sight. Uh, okay, let's go for this shot. Does it take damage? Boom! Boom! Down. And in fact, I'm going to take this opportunity to reload Desperado. Cowboy can Overwatch, and Spectre can move up. Let's, do this. let's get behind this behind this. Uh, Seat wall thing. Oh, we have a line of sight onto what appears to be a normal floater who's going to get cowboyed. Okay then. Ooh. Chrysalids. <laughs> well, oh well. They do a good job of that. Okay, so let's use our shiny, shiny heavy floater to, uh... Let's move him down here. We can use him as bait. He has an alien grenade, actually. Oh, was that his entire movement? That was a bit crappy. Okay, well, that, if that's his entire movement, that's a bit annoying. Let's get rid of this. Chrysalid. Boom. Dead. Nine damage. In the zone. Has another line of sight. I'll take out the Chrysalid over there. Boom. In the zone. And you can go to Overwatch. <laughs> he is murdering this. I actually want to leave um, that sector part alive because I want it to do damage to that floater. So I'm actually going to reload Mia. Duran doesn't have a line of sight, so she's okay to overwatch. Pixie, you can reload. Durant, you can hunker down. And Cowboy, you can reload. So I'm using this uh, heavy floater as bait just to take some damage. Seven damage. And can I use it to... It has an alien grenade. Can I just chuck the alien grenade down on the floor? Confirm. Friendly fire. Yeah, I can just chuck it on the floor. <laughs> they both take two damage. Um. Okay. Actually, no. I don't want to. I want to hunker down. I want these two to kill each other. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to waste my bullets on a heavy floater. Basically, uh, can I just end my turn? How about I just end my turn? Oh well, go into Overwatch. You can go to Overwatch as well. Let's see what happens now. I want him just to turn around and just go squish. 
9 damage, that saves us uh, doing anything. And it keeps it where we want it for Pixie just to go splat. Thank you, game. You give me a fright there. Okay, camera. Right. Okay, well, let's go on forwards. Let's move Mir as far as we can. I kind of want to uncover anything that's going to uncover. Uh, we don't have... we have very little stuff to hide behind because of my uh, grenading opportunities. But that's fine. We can mess around with a few things. Uh, let's move Spectre forwards. It might just be worth just moving everyone to the end as quickly as possible. But I want to keep people in cover for the maximum amount of time, especially All people right, like Durand. Who has only three turns left on her mind control ability. Which uh is kind of good. It means that we can use it again this uh this mission. I was thinking that I might not be able to. But apparently I can. Uh, I'm gonna move Spectre up. There's no point not. Ariana, you are point lady. <laughs> you are a machine point lady. Keeping an eye out. No sign of any aliens. Okay, let's move forward. We can just go inside this doorway. Moving out. X-ray spotted. Ooh, hello. That was not necessarily my plan. 